Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. Another nice looking day, little breezy, bad smell. <laughs> Let me show you. Does this happen where you're at is the question here. This does happen, but look how this happened here particularly. Ice chest, bag, the lid, it's dumped and you come this way first red fish hole nothing cut off it second red fish third red fish fourth fifth six six red fish just dumped seven seven and whatever that is yeah, so small fish there too. and this guy yeah you're right fishing with Craig originally I was going to do a catfish session because I got the bait for it yesterday oh yeah you're right little one I told you we should come here Well, that's what you wanted to do, catch some fish. Yeah, we got You one. caught a fish. That's the second one I had. Let's see what you're throwing real quick. All right. A little uh, silver kind of spinnerbait there in black, maybe. Yeah. Nice. I, I've got a spinnerbait tied up, too. But for the moment, I might switch out to a, something different, something a little heavier, but that's a 1 16th ounce shaky head with a finesse worm june bug with chartreuse I, i'm i don't really it's just the wind i don't really want to switch it out the wind is the factor why i might switch it out however this is not super deep where we're fishing not at all there's a lot of carp here oh but this wind is an issue so it's a pumping station that right there and on the other side of that pumping station is the icw i would love to be able to go through there and fish over there but obviously i'm not allowed to steam bank not too bad but in some certain spots it's a little iffy let's see if we can see how close i can get without getting wet or falling crawl down here I'm not gonna leave it too much longer before I switch out to a heavier jig head all right free cork this is where being able to cast with your right and your left hand is a good thing Switched out, 3 16 ounce head now. There's a lot of carp here. I'm not seeing the fish, I'm seeing where they spook as I walk along here. There's a lot of them. It's another dead fish. I don't think this is associated with that ice chest though. That's a big shad. Well, that's a lot better. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna come down here. I wanna know what this is. Sometimes these drainage canals have the weirdest things in them. I don't know if I can get that. What does it say on it? It says Mercedes Benz on it. It's a, it's a bag. It's got a zipper on it. It's just iffy. I know if I try to kneel down, I'm going to go into the water here. Huh, a cop just showed up. And this is how it goes. Apparently, you're not supposed to be back here fishing. I didn't know that, but the officer said he was cool with me checking out this structure on my way out. Can you down there, grass so tall? You can't get down there because the grass is so tall. 
Craig has a high grass phobia. He doesn't like to admit to it. He tells everybody he's terrified of snakes. There's a dead catfish down here that turtles were feeding off of. It's not real big, maybe a eight pound is what it maybe was. This water is really dirty and I expect most water, most of it, not all of it today, to be dirty like this. So like I said, you never know what you're gonna find in a drainage canal. You can find nice fish in them, but you're also gonna find weird items and occasionally a dead body, possibly. We've got some tires here. We've got a, over there, there's a grocery cart. On the way over here, Craig was asking me where a spot was where I caught a fish off of a, a bench seat from a, a van that was in the canal. It's not this canal. He said he was trying to figure out where that spot was. And I said, well, the, the seat's no longer there. But here we go. We just, we got that shaky head. We cast out past the shopping cart, but now the shaky head, I've brought it over the shopping cart and it's just right here, right next to it, sitting there and shake it a little bit. Don't want to move it too much right now. Just try to keep it in place. So yeah, this is late March. Probably safe to say that a lot of your bigger bass are on their beds right now. But not all of them are because, you know, just like that first fish that Craig caught, a lot of bass are too young to, to spawn. So those are probably the ones we'll catch today if we don't catch anything bigger. Huh other side of this structure has weird stuff too it's like part of a bumper or it is a bumper different canal yeah you're right i like to go on a pipe but i don't want to go there with that tall grass my snake sitting on there yeah you're right so like i said earlier i was actually planning on doing a catfish session so you would you know, you should have seen a catfish video today. However, Craig wanted to fish and I decided it was more important to fish with Craig than to go do the river. And I let, let it be his choice today because it should be his choice. He's going through a lot. His father just passed away and he was very close to his father. But Craig is in a bind. He can't afford everything. Insurance isn't care covering everything. So there is a link down in the description to a GoFundMe if you want to help out with the funeral. There's a GoFundMe page set up for his dad. It's just to cover expenses for the funeral. We appreciate any help you want to give. Craig's been a big part of the channel for many years. So I'd like to help out most I can, the best I can. So if you want to help out, thank you very much. We all appreciate it. Let's catch some fish. Yep. You don't want to do the pipe? Yeah, a snake den over there. A snake den? Yeah, one mark den. Oh, I'm not worried about that. It was like, it's not that bad. Yeah. Well, I'll take the spot then. Right. Yeah, you're right. Not much of a fishing video. Just a quick one out with my friend because fishing helps you out a lot when you're stressed out. Just a quick video to get that link out help Craig out he's going through some hard times if you want to help him I appreciate it thank you very much thanks for watching liking sharing commenting subscribing being a member of the channel donating to Craig's GoFundMe and I will see you next time